Evacuation now on the Caribbean island St. Vincent, where a volcanic eruption has forced thousands of residents to flee their homes. Conditions are worsening. Officials say the island looks like a battle zone. Victor Kendo has the latest. Good morning, Victor. Good morning, George. Just hours ago, emergency management on the island reported another large eruption. Experts there urging everyone to heed the warnings as these eruptions could continue for weeks, maybe even months. This morning, the Caribbean island of St. Vincent is coated in ash. The long dormant volcano rumbling over the weekend, blasting giant clouds of smoke into the sky. Officials say the island looks like a battle zone. The first eruption early Friday morning, followed by a second one just hours later. Authorities say plumes of smoke are rising above 25,000 feet high. Ashfall blanketing cars, damaging homes and businesses, and knocking out power. About 16,000 St. Vincent residents have been evacuated out of the most dangerous areas surrounding La Soufriere volcano. Codrian Simmons and his friends made multiple trips by boat and by car to remove residents from the danger over the weekend. This is all paradise now. When I walk the streets, my feet were literally sinking inches into the ash. I can't believe this is my beautiful hometown. Cruise ships coming to the rescue. Royal Caribbean and Carnival Cruises at the ready for evacuees to come aboard, preparing food and training crew members to assist. No residents are on board yet. Other islands are affected too. Ash traveling across more than 100 miles of ocean to the nearby island of Barbados. Ash raining down like snow, turning the daytime sky dark. Many nearby islands have offered to take in those evacuees. A State Department spokesperson telling ABC News they're not aware of any U.S. citizens that have been affected by this. That resident we heard from, he has been working around the clock. Robin, he tells us he doesn't want to leave anyone behind. Mm. What a scene there. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.